first off, I would like to say it's been an honor to be the president of this club. It really meant a lot to me. It really meant a lot to me, and also, it really helped me grow and develop into the person I am today. So, have you ever wanted something so bad, but worked for something so hard, and when you're finally about to approach it, you get butterflies in your stomach? You know, little trickles of fear and anxiety hits your stomach. You know, you, you ask yourself, why is that? You know, this is your desire. This is your goal, your dream. Everything that you have worked for thus far was for this goal, was for this point. Seniors feel it. We're about to graduate. Four years, plus four years, high school. Ever since we were, we were kids, we've been going to school. That's, that's been our job, to go to school. We're about to finish. Everything that we have done, all the hard work, all the nights that we stayed up, it's about to be gone. Because we reached the point of graduation. And you would think you would be so happy, but in every senior, there's a little bit of scaredness, a little bit of anxiety. Well, is that because we never look past our top goal. So if you're climbing up a mountain and you're hiking it up, and you get there, your head's down because you're so focused on just putting a foot, one foot ahead of each other. And you finally look up and you see the top of the mountain, that's your goal, that's the point you want to reach. And you get a little bit of fear because not only do you see the goal, but you see what's beyond that goal. And when you see that it just plateaus and there's another mountain, that you still have to do more climbing, is that why we get fear? Or are we, are we anxious because you've worked so hard to get to a goal and be right to get to that goal that you're scared to do one little thing and wipe it away? Are you scared of the unknown? A couple of years back, a former Navy SEAL came to the school and talked to us, and he talked a little bit about budge training. Budge training is the hardest military training school uh, in the world. You know, and he talked about the dropout rate, which is over 50% of people that go in there, they quit. So just put yourself in that position. And he goes on to tell the story. You know, they would go on these 26 mile long ruck marches. You'd probably get all nasty before, tell them to go, go into the water, get soaked up in the water, come out roll around on the floor, put sand in your shirt, put sand in your pants. Now you have to put a 100 pound ruck on there and go run 26, 20, uh, 26 miles. So you, you begin that journey and see, you can't think about 26 miles. If you think about 26 miles, you're thinking that's too far, it's a little doubt in, your, doubt in your head. So you think about just the mile after a mile. So you go, you get to your one mile. You go again, you get to your two mile. You get up to about five miles and you just can't even think that you've only been doing this for five miles and you still have to get to 26 or you just stop counting the miles. And you put your head down and you get tunnel vision. You start to get lightheaded. You put your head down because your neck is not even strong enough to hold your head up. So you're just looking at one foot ahead of another. You're so focused on just going. You don't even think about your goal until you get there and you've done it. You've reached the 26 mile ruck. Now, so the instructors come and say, good job, you guys did it. 26 miles, you did it. You're tired, right? Okay, yeah, we get it. Take off your ruck, put it back on, we're going for another run, right? We're going for another run. He says, as soon as he said that they're going on another run, about half of the group is gone. They're, they're worried so much about what could happen. This is your first month in the training. You got nine more. That was the hardest thing you've ever done in your life. And you tell me we got eight more months of this? They said half of them just quit right there. Half of them is gone. 
only to come to find out that that run is 100 yards, 100 yards away. And they're going to the chow hall to eat and then go to sleep. But you already quit. You're gone. And that's life. That's what graduation is. That's what any goal that you want to accomplish, that's what that is. So don't have that fear. Don't have that little taste of fear of the butterflies in your stomach. There's no need for that because everything that you've done thus far will prepare you for after you hit that first goal. Like Toastmaster Bernard said, when we had a, a meeting with the president, he said, you'll be a knob all over again. When we, we step in there and be second lieutenants and, and uh, you know, second lieutenants, we'll be a knob again, but we won't quit because we already experienced that. So we can only perfect of what we failed on before because we have already experienced starting from the bottom. So Toastmasters, never quit. Always look up to your goals. And once you get to that point or you get to that goal, just know you have one more. Thank you.